Hello? Is everyone there? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me and nothing else? Or can you hear me and a noise in the background? I suspect it's going to be a noise, isn't there? Oh, I should move this so I can see anyone's kind of response. How's it going? Am I playing with the Paul Grogan house rule? What is that, Paul? Is it something to do with the sea buildings? There will unfortunately not be ice cream. There will be ice cream later. If you'd like to come up and have a magnum, I'm going to have one later on. Hi, Paul. Hi, LEB. Hi, Jamway. Hi, James. Steve? Steve, how do I play Noosefjord? Uh, Mikhail? Matt? How is it going in all of the places that you're at? Michael 2, loud and clear. Great. All of you people. Hi. Yes, is it is it a... Is it a house rule concerning the sea buildings? I remember being annoyed about the sea buildings in my first video. And then by the time I'd done the second video on this, I wasn't as bothered anymore. Do you like to hear Marty? Well, Marty is just snoring. I can... Oh, he is doing a nice pose. I think he is getting out of it. It might just go to a black screen. Hang on. Oh, it's still me, though. I need to make the Marty cam reactivate. There he is. You can just see wires and stuff, because he's in a place he's not meant to be. Where is he? There he is. You can see a bit of the... You can see a bit of the chair that the camera is perched on and he's under a desk that's why it's all that's why it's all fuzzy and weird there obviously isn't a light maybe there needs to be a light set up underneath uh, the desk but this is i think his summer stance is over here his summer stance would usually be under this table but obviously my feet are under this table right now that's where it would be later on he doesn't chew on wires luckily He's got a he's got a lovely little kitty belly. He used to have proper like leopard spots when he was tiny. There you go. You can should we just should we just not play Noosefjord and just watch Marty's little movements? I need to I need to have a little Marty in the corner, don't I? Uh, so for now though, we'll get his his avatar still about because I've just been I have literally less than ten minutes ago. Paladins of the West Kingdom co-op was all out on this table there's still bits of it off camera uh it went on a lot longer than i thought it was going to not necessarily because of the game filming things takes ages so you've got a choice i'm going to do some noose fjord i have decks oh yeah i've got decks i'm not even going to dare to guess what the fish are but one two three or four which fish would you like to see one of them is the salmon deck is it that one for an expansion. I know there was another expansion deck, but uh, I didn't I didn't manage to get that one. And when I looked the other day, when I got all excited about playing Noosefield again, it seems to be sold out everywhere. So gonna just have to wait on that. Thor and Loki don't spend time in the studio. Oh dear. Marty, you can't get Marty out of here. Luckily, for for once, he isn't going behind the blinds and knocking this camera out of the window. Is the place deck the new expansion? So I've got the... Which one's Salmon? You, you've got to say one, two, three, or four for me. I don't I don't know what the fish look like. Yeah, the, the Salmon... The Oh, the place deck is the expansion, yes. Which one's the Salmon deck? Was, was Salmon a different exp... Have I got place and I need Salmon? Maybe I've got it the wrong way around. Uh, 400 to 400 and... Oh, okay. So I am I think I was looking for the place deck. I don't know. Either way, an expansion I couldn't get hold of. So, we... so salmon we can't have. We can have place. Okay, salmon's the new one. Can you get salmon? Don't worry, I'll I'll put I'll make the timestamp later for people watching later. This is this isn't like playthrough section. Can you get the salmon expansion? That's probably the one I was looking for actually, but um I've forgotten the name of it now. Yeah, salmon is the one that you can't get. I've just got the names confused in my head. You can get it from a website in Germany. 
for the postage is more than the game, but I reckon uh, it's probably going to be in German, isn't it? It's not a lot of good to me. So salmon is the one that I need. So you want to see place again? Now one one expansion was that I got it in Essen whenever it came out, and it came with lovely uh, far too shiny coins. You know, for place, let's go for it. I wish I had salmon. Look at games. If you're watching, I've never heard from you, but surely you're watching all of them. Send us a salmon. The people demand it. So yeah, I'm a bit more haywire than I would normally be because I have uh, I've literally just slammed Paladins of the West Kingdom into a bat into its box. It's gonna have to get sorted out later, and then um, just scrambled Noosefjord out onto the table in some kind of configuration. But this is all this is all fairly big, isn't it? Am I going to need to be doing any zooming? How is all the text on the action? I imagine the tech, the actions and the elders, you can probably see that pretty decently, right? But maybe not the buildings when I get them out there. So we just fill up. It's just those many buildings, isn't it? And that's it. Only set the C buildings aside in a two-player game. Yes, we don't set any more of these aside in the solo game. How are you? Oh, that text's fairly big as well, isn't it? There's more of it, but I imagine you will be able to see that all right. Let me know if you can't. But that saves me having to do the zooms live as well. Also, the downside of having two playthroughs run into each other, it means these lights have been on for about four hours. This room is roasting hot. I'm very glad, though. I, I need to find a way of incorporating this into the normal playthroughs because there's like noise suppression or something on um, Streamlabs, the, the streaming software, which I think is seems to be... Nobody's mentioned anything about the noise in the background. There is a fan on, so I'm going to assume that it's suppressing that sufficiently. Fish legs? What's going on here? I need to go into the other chat, don't I, as well? Sauté salmon legs. Hi, Ben. I'm playing it a lot. Someone mentioned... Oh, I can't find the comments. Someone mentioned West Kingdom. I'm glad. Matt, you bought uh, Paladins and Viscounts. I hope you enjoy them. I played um, Paladins co-op just. I filmed it. It's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, the C gets placed to one side, doesn't it? Placed. Right. I think we're set up there, aren't we? So here we go. For some uh, place deck volume two. So yeah, I've set up all the game properly, haven't I? Hello. I hope we do have fun. So yeah, it's, it's like... Um, I need the blue worker discs as well, don't I? It's a bit like... It's a bit like Feast for Odin's um, solo mode in that the workers I use in one round are going to block the spaces that I need for the second round. I love how quickly this is uh, set up, Gemway, because I had about five minutes to do it. So, uh, oh yeah, I did say I was going to do that, didn't I? I did say I was going to go advanced solo, which I don't know if I've ever done. Let's go for it. Why not? If I'm... Uh, it's not possible to get any more frazzled, is it? I think... I, I was saying Viscounts just edged it out, but I think after playing a fair bit of Paladins in the last couple of weeks. It's, it's close between them, but I think, yeah, Paladins is edging it out. <laughs> nice one, James. Wait. All right, I need to know how this works. Right then, so it's the normal solo game, but there's just three different colors. Is that basically all I need to know? 
Yeah, in the returning home phase, you'll be leaving two colors of workers on the action board and elders. Turn the imitation tile to the five player side. Use it as you would in five player games. And you can play a campaign, which I'm not going to do. But yeah, it's just you only return the workers that you'll be controlling next round. So interesting. I'm going to block off a lot of spaces, aren't I? I do have those copies. I've got three copies, one for each column. But I'm going to be blocking out a load of spaces. So I think I'm all nicely set up there, aren't I? So we need the fishing phase. So you get as many fish as in your first section, don't you? In your, your hall size, the smallest number that you can see. <laughs> Needs to turn the chat replay on for the fish jokes. It's on the Christmas wish list already, just from the look of it. It does look very nice. I admit, I put it on my Essen list when it said Uwe Rosenberg on it. I think it came out at Essen, right? Oh yes, thanks Joel. Uh, please like the video and comment on it if you're watching it back later and subscribe and stuff. I should probably put the timestamp around now to start. Uh, the little robot will tell you all about Patreon. It's how all of these videos happen. It's how all of this equipment exists. And uh, the fact that I'm here right now doing all of this. Uh, your support would be massively appreciated. Thank you, patrons. You're in the chat, aren't you? Not all of them at the same time right yes this this as well it might happen again maybe it was just a big one-off but wasn't Nussfjord it there was like some UK offer where it was like 20 pounds or something like that for some crazy period I don't know why but uh, yeah you could get it dirt cheap at one point it's worth full price I paid the full price for it but hey right so we need fishing don't we we get three tiny fish just the smallest number that you can see. You can later get fishing boats that will let you get more fish at the start. And then we need to give fish away, don't we? To elders, to your shares in foreign possession, your shares in your personal supply. So you start off with uh, two of your own shares. So the fish go on there, right? And then one goes to... And then they go to the reserve till that fills up and then your general supply, right? So I've just got two fish, basically, to start the game with. Yeah, two fish on your shares and one in your reserve. And there's an action where you can get them out of your reserve. So this is this is usually the running through it all that uh, happens in the half an hour or so before the stream starts. Have a starting sim. Am I missing something? Starting fish at the banquet table. We've got one on the the one there. Uh, filling that up. I think. Let me double check that I've got that right. Fill the banquet table. One fish each. Yeah, two player game. Just one plate. Yeah, one one fish on the banquet tables at the start. That little fella. Twenty pounds, James. Lucky. But yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I am fine with uh, the full price of it as well. I've got uh, a decent number of plays out of this as well. Because it's fairly quick and snappy. Hi, Michael. Tough questions. Feast for Odin or Nussfjord or Halatau? Feast for Odin. But, yeah, it, it depends, right? If you, need some, if you need something quick, neither of the other two, it's got to be Nussfjord. But, yeah, F Feast for Odin, definitely. It's... Uh, I think the one that I could get the most variation out. Not that the, you know, there's there's so many combinations with all the different decks and stuff of Nussfjord now as well, that you're bound to get some completely different combinations. But I just love the. Maybe it's just the polyominoes. Maybe it's getting all of the islands. Maybe it's the pillaging. It's got to be Odin though. But Halatau is uh, is creeping up there because it's absolutely fantastic. One of the best games of last year. It looks strange because you have the banquet table the other way around. Oh, like, I'm supposed to have it that way around. It's just between the two of you, isn't it? I don't think it makes a difference as long as you're doing. Yeah, it's that it's that way around in the picture for some reason. But yeah, we can have it that way around. Uh, yep, two forest tiles on there. 
it would be great if there was a way to set up Feast for Odin this quickly. I've got it all crammed in one box, so it takes even longer than it used to. Right. I'm going to... I should say this is the start for the <laughs> people watching later. So I've got my fish, haven't I? It's time for the work phase. I've got my three little workers. And I've got all of these worker placement spots to do things with. It's time to make some tough choices. So the elders are going to be the same all the time, pretty much. The buildings that we've got out here. So I can get some nice... A free pond there if I'm willing to lose a point. And the spaces are all minus one point anyway. I could get myself four fish. And then with those four fish, could I do some good things? Marketplace, each fishing phase, if no new fish are put in your reserve, you get a gold in your reserve. So is that if I fill the reserve up with eight fish? You've gone off Halatau, Paul. I haven't played it for a little while now. I probably haven't played it this year. But not... I don't want that to sound like I'm uh, being put off Halatau. That's... You could say that for 99% of my games. I haven't played them this year yet. Yeah, but you could, hopefully, it will get expanded in that way that you could just add decks to it, yeah. I have got... I did used to have a wooden insert for Feast for Odin, but I got rid of it because I wanted to fit all the expansion and stuff in one box because space is more important than time, apparently. Don't start with fish in the solar gate. So at the start of the round, you've got, like... It's the smallest number that you can see. The, the fish that uh, you get at the start of any round. So you start off with three fish in the first round. And in this, you haven't got any elders yet. You've got no shares in foreign possession because it's just you. Uh, your shares in personal supply, you start off with two. So two fish go on there. And then your reserve, one goes in there. There's none left to go into the general supply. So the two on your shares go into your personal supply. The one you reserve sits in your reserve. I believe in setup... Yeah, yeah, you are supposed to have it where, like, the actions are here and then the buildings follow on from there, but to, to squash it all into... to be as zoomed as possible. So hopefully the text is nice and clear. I have, uh, I've just zoomed in as much as possible. Oh, you've got... it's got Odin and Norwegians in stock. Wow. I think Norwegians has been a little hard to get. Gate cards... Gate cards? Are they going to come out? I'm excited for whenever the Odin second expansion is coming out as well. It is a very expensive game. There is a lot in it though. But uh, yeah, it's pricey. Right then, so let's have a look at some of these buildings and things and see if we can see anything that we'd like to get. So, immediately just get four fish for free is tempting. And that could start us off being able to get more things. Netweaver. Immediately place a free sloop on your fishing track. Now that's pretty, that's basically a two wood discount, isn't it? Get in that. Increase my fishing to five around. They will just keep going into my reserve. But maybe that'll be worth it. I could... I probably want to issue a share, right? But it does mean that that space is going to be filled up for ages. Because if I buy more of my shares, I'll get some fish from that. Hello, Finland. Chachki. Yeah, Netweaver. Looks very nice. And then Boat Rental. Immediately build a ship. One free sloop and one free cutter. Return any two ships before scoring. So I could just return a couple of sloops at the end of the game. Uh, after you build a ship when using whichever worker it is, either loot, pay an extra wood if you're doing it with your first worker, gain a wood with your second, gain three wood if it's your third worker. Anytime, discard two identical goods from your reserve, put one in the supply. Salmon farm, after the fishing phase, get an extra fish per share on the action board. Ooh. Fishing shore, after you build a building, get some... Pay some more or gain some extra fish, depending on which worker it is. The export hall, after you build a ship, put up to three fish from the your reserve into your supply. That could be good a little bit later. Uh, Netweaver, 
comes with marine. Oh yeah, so the the B buildings, the marinas. So the form three points per orthogonally adjacent empty space. It's gonna take some doing. The truffle pig immediately gain a gold for each forested double space. Oh, on each forested double space, take the gold from the space when you deforest it. The workhouse immediately get a wood per elder in your supply and your reserve. Discharge immediately get wood equal to your hall size. That'll be good later. But the marina immediately build a ship and return a sloop to cover your cat boat with a free schooner. And then the savings club immediately a gold per elder into your reserve. Uh, Netweaver is how I started the playthrough last year. Sh can we see if I can make it identical to the, <laughs> the playthrough from last time? Uh, the marketplace can generate some nice gold. Hmm. If I can fill my reserve up, or if I can get enough like fish, but so I think Netweaver is something great to do. The Marina is just a bit pricey, isn't it? So for getting wood, a wood per forest. I do have like three forests, don't I? I would need the sloop first though. So I think we 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 can't we can't forget about. It. Hi Willem. Enjoy the fjords. I'll I will try. I'll try and master them. Oh yes, and please like the video, people. Uh yes. So I think we should build something. So build a building. There's only two chances. With three workers. See, I've got two fish right now. Let's just go for that net weaver. I might be copying off myself, but I'm doing it. There's my fish spent, and I get a free sloop that would normally cost you two wood and two fish. And now I'll get five fish at the beginning of a round. It's always tempting to issue a share to get those two gold, and then later on, buy those shares back, so you will get a load more fish straight into your supply. So if we want to build towards the marina. So I've got four forests right now, haven't I? So I'd get myself four wood. Next round, I'll still only get two fish. But I could do like the pond to get the fish I needed for the marina. But how am I getting gold, though? I probably want to issue a share. Let's see this town with buildings made of fish. That's what it's going to be. I think I'm going to issue a share. Let's issue it and put it on there. And we could even leave them in there and get that salmon form. And just get... Leave them on there for ages and get the fish from that. So I've got a couple of gold now. Shiny, shiny, shiny gold. And then what? So transfer reserve, complete waste of time. Serve fish will help with the elders. I could take an elder, of course. And you get to activate him immediately. But I don't really have stuff. Now, a harbour master, because I could exchange the sloop for a cutter if I got the harbour master. And that would give me six fish. But I did want a sloop for the marina, didn't I? But I can get more sloops later. I think maybe we want to thin out. Plus one wood per forest. Yeah, so I've got four forests. One, two, three. Oh, one wood's gone. Here we go. Maximum 12 wood in here. So that is my... That's my actions for round one. So then returning home... Nobody comes home, right? Because in round two, we're using blue workers. So. Oh, yeah, and the elders would... The elders would get the fish, and I get some back. We'll get an elder in a minute. So in the fishing phase, I now get five fish. Two, three, four, five. So... Two, I have no shares in foreign possession, right? Do I put a, do I put one on the publicly owned fish? Yes. So it just goes on there and then gets discarded, doesn't it? So that's a bit annoying. I have got three in the supply now, though. In the reserve. 
Harbour Master. Yeah, I'm tempted to get Harbour Master and swap that into a cutter because I can get an elder because that space, all these spaces can just have one worker on them. And they're not going to clear off for a while. So I've got the wood. I haven't got the fish. I've got the gold. If I want the marina. But I could just get a... Because that takes me straight to a schooner. But getting a fish, I'd have to transfer my reserve. And I kind of want to fill up the reserve and get... The marketplace. Each fishing phase, if no new fish placed in your reserve, get a gold. I suppose that is only like gold in rounds, but gold is points as well, isn't it? Just jumping straight to the schooner seems great. But then boat rental. I could do boat rental now, couldn't I? I get a sloop and a cutter, and I've just got to return two ships by the end of the game. Yeah, the pond would get me four fish immediately as well. There is only one normal builder building space. I can copy one of these as well, though, but that would mean absolutely no building in round three if I did that. So I think I'm going to do boat rental. Still no points, but building up this fish in quite early. So wood, fish, gold. What kind of fish comes out at night? A starfish. Nice. Did you have all of these prepared for this fjord? Or were they, were they just about anyway? In the ether. So immediately... Oh, if I had the export hall, though, after you build a ship, move up to three fish from your reserve to your supply. And this is immediately build a ship. So what if I did the export hall first? Anytime I build a ship, I get three fish from my reserve into my supply. I think I'm going to do that. I think I am going to build two things. Copy an action. Build a building. So that's all my wood gone. So I'm not going to be able to build anything in round three. But maybe round three is going to be like a... Maybe put another share out and then buy them. Or sort out the forests a little bit. So I need to do... Build a ship. One free sloop. And one free cutter. And then I need to return any two ships before scoring. And the export hall. After you build a ship, move up to three fish from your reserve to your supply. I've got loads of fish again. So my... My elders, they come with like a fish on them, don't they? I think I should get, I'm kind of thinking, get the harbour master. Turn that sloop into a cutter. Or I could just turn the cutter into a schooner. That's, it's about, it's the same difference, isn't it? It will be nine fish. But uh, just check my rules about getting the elders. Take an elder, take him, put him a seat on your council. You can immediately carry out the card without placing a worker. Oh, you, yeah, you take the fish from the banquet to put them on your elders, don't you? So. Maybe get an elder? And I could copy it later, couldn't I? I don't want to remove forests for these things just yet. It would be great to have an extra builder building space with the constructor, but maybe we can copy this later. I'm going to take an elder, get that harbour master, and use him immediately. So does it does it take a fish from the board when I use him right at the start? Yeah, I do have to. Yeah, you place the fish first and then do the action, don't you? So, yes, it is cheaper to buy the shares in later rounds. You get a two discount on the action in general. So I could get the shares out there. Mind you, before they're issued, I don't have to waste the fish on them. So we use him. We're going to have to fill up these banquet tables, but we're 
maybe going to have the fish to do it later on. Uh, so exchange a ship, a sloop for a cutter, or a cutter for a schooner. Might as well be a cutter for a schooner, hadn't it? It's going from, in terms of points, it's two extra points rather than just one from sloop to cutter. So, uh, yeah. Does that go back? Because there's only three of each ship in the game, isn't there? In a two-player game, which is what you set up the solo for. So that's it for this. No more returning home still, because we move on to the yellow workers. Oh, it's tricky. So for fish, it's going to be nine, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So Marty's getting on. He's reaching. You can't even see him again. He's gone under the chair now. Nine fish, one on the elder, uh, one on the share there, which goes away, two on these shares, and then that's going to be two, three, four, five in the reserve. So building a ship now would... Would get me some of those fish out of there. I do have four fish. Oh, six fish ready to do stuff with, though, should I need them right now. Uh, so. I can afford a truffle pig, but I've only got one. Oh, actually, I've got three forested double spaces, haven't I? A wood per elder and a gold per elder is not that exciting. Immediately get wood equal to your hall size is nice, but that's quite expensive gold wise for now. I could, you know, issue another share and have enough and I would get nine wood. But again, the, the longer you wait for these things, kind of the better it is. Pawn shop, discard two identical goods from your reserve and put one of them in your supply. That could be something decent to do. You're not getting the full use of them, but you're just at any time getting to bring them back into your supply, aren't you? It's tempting to, even if you're just building a sloop, I would get to put loads of fish from there out onto my board. I could, I could do a few plates, couldn't I, and earn some gold? How much fish have I got? I could do the first three plates, and that would let me... I could do the Harbour Master again. Yeah, you've got to... Am I doing that right? Yeah, so it's a, it's an issued share, so these aren't issued. But when as soon as you put it out there, it becomes issued, and so... Where's the fishing phase in here? Yeah, so it comes under your shares in foreign possession, I think. Uh, a fish from your hand on each share in your colour located on the action board or in another player's supply. So yeah, a fish per one on there, but it just goes away. And then a fish to every person that's got one of your shares as well. So what was I thinking about doing? I was thinking about uh, serving fish... Yeah. I was thinking of serving some fish and activating my harbour master. And then third thing, I don't know, I could... I would like some wood again. And then if I got... So that would just get me five wood again. Copying the thin out. But it's four wood, isn't it? Five for deforest. Cutters cost six wood. Although if I do discharge, get wood equal to your hall size. So if I can boost the hall size a bit more. Let's serve fish. Serve fish. I'm going to just spend... Yeah, I'm going to spend all of them. Six fish, so that does the first three plates, because it's one fish to do this plate, two fish to do this plate, three fish to do this one. I get a gold for each plate that I served. And now that means there's fish available for my elder. So 
so I can turn. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot of drinks if you drink one every time I say fish. Which I don't know the point. Um, what am I looking up? Oh yeah, what what? Uh, when my elders full, I get. You clear the things off him, but I get one, don't I? Yeah, one in your supply and two go back to the generals, the general supply. So we need a fish coming from here to feed the elder, and then it's full. I get one, and these two go back to the supply. Thanks, Paul. See you later. Good luck. Yep, immediately put them on there, and I can turn a sloop into a cutter. Okay. And then... I could get another... Elder now, couldn't I? Distribute four fish plus one per building. Distribute seven fish as you would during the fishing phase. Great later, though, I think. I think I'm tempted to deforest to get more space for building, then maybe reforest it with two forests later so that I would still have four, but they would all be crammed up. So I've only got one fish there. I don't think I want to transfer the reserve. I can't build a building. I could put another share out there. But then that is losing a new fish all the time. I am probably going to be watching on Catch Up, James. It is uh, it's it's sacred movie night usually on Fridays, apart from when um, I've done streams on Fridays. Although rather than a movie, I think it is going to be that uh, Bo Burnham thing on Netflix, which I'm very intrigued by. Haven't really watched much of Bo Burnham, but I very much like what I've seen. And that latest one, Welcome to the Internet, crazy good song. Uh, you can build with it. Yeah, build with the constructor elder. Oh, yeah, so I could get that elder and then build with him. I see what you're saying. So do I want to do that? Get a load of wood. And then I could build the marina next time, couldn't I? Yeah, I would have everything I need to do the marina. Because I'm hanging on for, what, two more wood? I'm just going to do discharge, I think. Let's copy an action. Copy, take an elder, grab the constructor elder, use him for free, and I am going to get discharge, which... Oh, no, I haven't got two fish, though, have I? Ah, reverse that. That was the reason I wasn't doing that, wasn't it? So I can do that next time. But there'll be building, build a building available as well. Is there something else that I want to build until that? I could do truffle pig. I could do... I've only got one fish, though. So I'm more limited. I've only really got gold. I've got gold and fish, so I could do the marketplace. But that's not really going to be that effective. Well, the, the reserve is filling up, isn't it? There's five fish in the reserve. And I'm getting ten fish out. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then one more in my supply. And then it's full every time after that. So the marketplace could build up some gold in it, couldn't it? But I'd have to leave everything in the marketplace for pretty much the whole game. What do I want to do instead, then? I can't build a ship. I could take a different Elder, but I'm not as... Oh, I could, I could take the Builder... And that would let me remove a forest first and then build a building. But you're removing that forest just to get one wood. And it's fish that I'm short on. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Brian, the Bow Burnham is good. I've, I've heard very good things. I'm very much looking forward to it. Bow Burnham's like a, a musical comedian. Right. Again, I haven't... I, I need to catch up now. He's done like three plus specials. Been going on quite a while now. I only really know uh, Art is Dead is a great song. Like comedy songs. 
and the new welcome to the internet. I know that that's a great big gap in between those two things, but they're great. Very funny, very well observed, and good songs as well. And uh, yeah, I, I don't remember this. I didn't see the clip, but my friends were posting that he was in a Parks and Rec. I don't remember that now, but it has been quite a while since I've seen Parks and Rec. Uh, right, what am I doing? After the fishing phase, get an extra fish for every share on the action board. So that would be good later on, maybe. So we're on round three. We have got four more rounds. I might just issue another share. Now I'm going to deforest and then maybe reforest later. Now deforest for five wood. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the latest Bo Burnham thing is like, it's all happened in lockdown. So it's all like, it's like a musical comedy thing, but it's all just filmed and directed and starring just him. And it's supposed to be uh, very, very good. You know, especially impressive because it's been made by one person. In a similar vein, Limmy's Homemade Show was made by one person. Also very, very impressive. I think both of them, I should say, for my... Uh, for any impressionable people watching, they, I think both, are going to be very much not safe for work. So I need now to put four C buildings in the display. So we're going to see a little bit of these final scoring buildings. Let's pop them in the middle. We've got... We are going to see three more at the end of round six. So, Model Harbour. Seven points if you have exactly one sloop, one cutter, and one schooner. So if I leave it alone with the boats now, I can get seven points from that model harbour. I'm probably not going to leave it alone, though. I've got a harbour master, and I intend to use him. Even though he has got a worker on him for two more rounds now. Uh, Wharf Hall immediately gets six gold, but then minus one point for each free space on your fishing track. I think it's going to be possible to fill that up. Folly. Immediately, if built before round seven, get three fish and three wood. It's worth 14 points, but costs you 10 gold. So 10 points worth of gold. I've got four gold right now. How hard could it be to earn more? And the Waterfront Chapel, five points if all the spaces in the bottom row contain a building, which if I, if I leave this forest off, is uh, very doable, isn't it? Right. I need... Oh, I should have done some returning home, shouldn't I? So these spaces are available. Fishing phase, I need 10 fish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Elder gets one. That share gets one, goes back to the supply. Then my shares. Then reserve. So that's got five in it. 6, 7, 8. And that means three for Tom. Okay, I've got all I need to do a marina now, haven't I? I, I really want to do that folly, though. Surely I can do that before round seven. Serve more fish. Get more. Get more. Oh, yes, I do need to return two boats before scoring, actually. So maybe that's not a good one to get. Because I will at least have four empty spaces, even if I only get rid of two sloops. Yeah, that's not going to be a good one to get, is it? I want my marina. I've got everything I need for it. I've been waiting ages. I want the marina. Three wood. And that is a build a ship action, so I will get fish from the reserve, should I need them. Three wood, three fish, two gold. And then that goes on there. Immediately build a ship, return a sloop to cover your cat boat with a schooner. There we go. So it's only moving me one more space. That's four points, a schooner. And I've built a ship. When I build a ship, move three fish from your reserve to your supply. And that's going to overflow again next round. So, 
I could issue a share again to start building up some gold. I could reforest. But I do, I want build, oh, I, I'm going to put it on the bottom row, actually. I want buildings in the bottom row, don't I? So I could deforest again, clear that out, and then reforest that one. But I can all, I can do the discharge, can't I, to, if I get one more gold, I can do discharge to get wood equal to your hall size. I want to serve fish next round, I think, when I've got this copy available again. I could get a boat, couldn't I? I could get a cutter. Oh, it's six six wood that is. Yeah, and I can't. I could get a. I could get an elder, and then build a ship, and then building a ship would get me more fish. So I could afford to build a cutter right now. Because like, yes, yeah, a schooner would top it off nicely. So I could buy a cutter, and then, in the yellow round, do the harbor master one last time, and. Upgrade it straight to a schooner. But I don't need to do that right now, do I? If I did buy a cutter, though, that would put me up to my max 12. So what do I need for that wood? So I'll copy an action to get an elder. And I will... I can serve fish with that elder as well. I'm going to get the constructor. Oh, do I lose those fish? Well, this changes everything. So... I had one, two... Three, four... Five, six, seven... So I think three fish went into my... But yes, it's, it says right there, general supply. So I don't... I think I need that pawn shop, you know. At any time, discard two identical goods from your reserve and put one in your supply. So it's... It would be like halving the things in my supply there, but... Wouldn't be too bad, would it? So I could, I could get, I've still got all the stuff. I, oh, I haven't got, a, I haven't got enough fish now. Oh, these fish are on these shares. Thank you, Rohit. So I have got enough fish. Yeah, I'm going to grab this constructor, build a ship or build a building. We're going to build a building with him. And I'm going to build, oh, I haven't got enough gold for discharge. Ugh. So we need to empty the Do we need to empty the reserve out so we stop losing all of these fish? We do want buildings all along the bottom here. Oh, I could do salmon farm. I'm I'm happy for the return of the jokes. Oh, what I'm going to do is salmon farm. There's three fish, and I'm going to put another share on the action board because now I get a fish for each of these, and that gives me two more coins. Then that's the end of the round. So blue comes back fishing. I need 10, but I'm not going to need 10, am I? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, elders, and it's an advantage to have more elders, isn't it? Because you will get back from them eventually. Shares in foreign possession. Shares in personal supply. And there are 5 in here, 6, 7, 8. So only one wasted back to the general supply. Because after the fishing phase, get a fish for every share on the action board. Which basically means I get these. So I've got some nice fish there. So I want this. I want this. The fo How am I going to get 10 gold from the folly? Serve fish next time is how you get it. Easy. I've got the fish and the... Oh, do you know what? 
build a building, discharge. That bottom row is now full. I need that water for a front chapel. It's going to be worth five points. So discharge is two fish and three coins. Immediately get wood equal to your hall size. Ah, oh, great. It's 10 wood. Max is 12. I've only got two in there. Four, six, eight, ten. It's just going to have to go off to the side. Marty can look after that. So then this is going, this is just burning through all of that gold that <laughs> was apparently so storing up. I could transfer the reserve, couldn't I? If I'm going to be... If I want to serve loads of fish and get loads of gold, maybe I want to transfer the full reserve. But I am about to build a boat which empties the reserve, so you transfer next round. But then it means even more fish are going to get wasted. I could issue a share, get two more gold, and then that's more fish every round as well. Or we just don't build the ship yet. We can wait. We're going to try and get just as much gold as possible. So I think that's going to take... Can I get 10 next time? What's it going to take to get 10 gold when I've got one? Get in the sailor. Serve fish, plus one gold and a wood for every served plate. So I could get 10 fish this round. I would be able to... Do what? Five, eight. That's three, six gold I would get for doing that. I think if we wait around and serve fish with him, I will have the ten gold to be able to do that folly before round seven. I'm going to have to deforest, aren't I, at some point soon? To just free up all of this stuff too, aren't I? So maybe we should do that now. Oh, uh, maybe I should transfer the reserve. It's getting transferred. I'm not going to build the ship right now. Then. So I can, what if I do the share? Because I can keep the points, can't I? I do want to do a, a... Oh, but the sailor, using the sailor, will clear that table out when I buy him. But I'm going to wait to do more plates with him. Yeah, finally, I'm going to copy an action. I'm going to issue a share again. Two more gold. It is a fairly text-heavy game. Is it clear enough? It's tiny on my little screen because of all of the chat and stuff everywhere but hopefully you can see it well enough so that's it for round five round six the yellow workers come back and three more sea buildings go into the display so let's put all these the seas are just taking up space in the middle fish venue immediately get gold equal to the number of free spaces on your fishing track that costs 25 fish Hotel. Once you have no forests and no empty building spaces, three gold just once. Don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Monument. At the end of the game, four other of your buildings that are worth points lose their points, but this is worth eight. And it could be the one that's worth zero, minus one, one, and something else I build for nothing. That could actually be good. The five few. Right, fishing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So elders first. They both fill. They both fill up, which means one each go to me, and then the rest go back to the supply. Then shares in foreign possession. That's three, but I basically get them. 
then reserve, that's going to be the rest of them. Oh, yeah, they've got to be worth zero points at least for the monument. Yeah, you're right. So I don't think... It would be worth some points. I don't think it... I don't know if it would be worth enough. Certainly not as much as, like, the folly or something. So, the thing I definitely want to do is take that elder and serve fish with him. So the fish I've got right now, I could do... Oh, I didn't do my personal shares. Thank you. So only three went into the reserve there. So if I was to do fish right now, I'm just thinking, it's prob like I've got so many in, it's not worth doing the transfer, is it? I'm going to just do it. Let's count it out as we get the fish. So the sailor that I'm recruiting, I'm going to serve fish with him. Uh, I get the market share fish back to my personal supply, basically because, like, really, they get discarded, and then, after the fishing phase, I get plus one fish per share on the action board because of that salmon farm. Usually, though, you would lose them. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm glad... Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here keeping me uh, sensible with it. So, let's feed some people. So that's going to be one... Two fish for there. Three fish for there. Let's discard two. Three fish for there. Discard two. Four fish for there. So discard three. So I could do that last table. It's going to hurt me. I will get fish next round though, won't I? To be able to build things that require fish. And then maybe I'll regret not having any. That right now gives me the 10 gold that I need. So I think I'm going to hang on to four fish in case. Just in case. Even though that is two gold, two points that I'm missing out on. Oh, which might be better to have those. Uh, I don't know. We'll get to serve fish again. We'll get to use the sailor again. I don't think we're going to have that many fish again. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Then I, I want to build the folly. So in case I want to do something else, I will... Ugh. Do I want to remove the forest first? I'm going to build a, build a building with him. I'm going to build that folly. I haven't taken those 10 coins. I'm basically spending those 10 coins on the folly. Uh, and I've built it before round 7, so I get 3 fish and 3... <gasps> I get 3 fish and 3 wood. So yes, I would have done that plate. Because I now get three fish. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can't do anything. I've basically wasted the wood. Because I have I can only have 12 wood. But I get three fish from there. And I would get an extra two gold from the extra plate I did. I think that's okay. I think it's okay to lose wood when you've got all of that. Because I can still build one more building. But I've got no space. I can copy it next time. Now, do I want to remove the forest right now? Or do I want to exchange a ship? I need to buy two sloops, don't I? Maybe I want to build a ship. And then I get three fish from the supply. Just because I need to get rid of two ships, don't I? So I want two ships that I don't care about. So let's build a ship. Two wood. Two fish. And then after you build a ship, put three fish from your reserve into your supply. Oh, did I have 11? Or maybe I spent one on something and forgot. Four, six, eight, ten. No, I had 12. 
Maybe one was perfectly on top of each other. Because I've just spent two for that. Right. That's round six. Round seven. Oh, dear. So, all of that stuff's still blocked off. I can grab those shares if I want those three points. Which seems worth it, doesn't it? It's going to cost me... It's a gold per share in round seven minus two gold. So, it's basically spend a point to get two points. But it is a worker. So, is it going to be worth it? Stop talking. Give out fish. Eleven fish. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It does, they're, they're the same cards for any of the modes. It is fairly large text. Like, compared to a lot of Euros, it is bigger text. We did play it five player once. I don't know, I suppose it depends on the size of your table and stuff. It is a bit of a pain, like, I suppose, if you're looking at it all upside down and stuff. But um, maybe because they're all disappearing as well. More do come out at higher play accounts. But it was its a long time ago when we played that five-player game. Not long after it came out, I think. So, Elders, you get three. Just stealing my fish. But then if I use them, they'll fill up and I can... Yeah. Shares in foreign possession. That's three, but I'm just going to give them to myself because of my card. Shares in my supply, that's two. Rest go into my reserve, and if I build a boat, I'll get them. I need stuff that costs wood. So we're going to have to... Do we want an elder? Because he could remove two forests and give me... Oh, I'm full up on wood. No, let's just go for... D oh, oh, I just want the forests gone. What about the builder then? Remove a forest and build a building. But then how am I going to build the boat? Yeah, I need to just remove the forest and just accept that I'm getting no wood for it. Because I can't spend any of that wood yet because I'm full up of um, I'm full up. My, board, my board's full up. Should have done things a bit of a different way around, I think. But I needed to buy that folly in round seven so I could get the. But I didn't really get the wood. Maybe that didn't matter. Oh well. So let's just deforest then. I do get two wood because I've got ten right now. And then, have I got enough? Yeah, surely I've got enough. Let's build a building. The waterfront chapel. Five points if all the spaces in the bottom row contain a building, which they do. Three wood, three fish, and a gold. And then, we've got to build a final building, haven't we? So if I built the monument, it costs three points to build. It would be worth eight, so that's plus five, but I would have to stop four buildings from scoring. Zero, one, two, four, five. Yeah, it would cancel itself out, the monument. If I'd built more zero-point buildings, it would have been great, but I didn't. I... I need to build a sloop, though, don't I? Mind you, that's... I'm going to lose two points if I don't build a sloop. If I build a sloop, the two sloops go away. So I need to lose two ships because of my thing. The thing that I now regret a little bit, but it helped me out massively early on, I think. Hmm, I don't think any big points buildings are going to help me here. That is a minus one point space, which is frustrating. So I could just build something in it, but... I think I would be better off just...
basically it saves me losing a point, doesn't it? If I build the sloop, which is no problem. I haven't got enough to build a schooner. Hmm. I haven't played campaign mode yet. I'd forgotten that it existed until uh, it was Jose in the Discord mentioned he was playing the campaign. I'd forgotten all about it. But yeah, you go through like... You pick a deck, don't you, basically, and you, you'll go through all of the buildings in that deck over the course of three games. I'd like to give it a go. I was thinking about doing it for the stream, but I think it's like... If, if it has to be a delay and stuff, am I going to be able to keep track of it? I thought I'll do the advanced game for now. So I've only got six fish. So I would only be able to serve one plate, which is two points. Buying all the shares is worth two points. If I don't buy a sloop, I lose three points at the end. If I do buy a sloop, I lose two points. Model Harbour. It's just if I if I get Model Harbour, I'm losing two boats, so I wouldn't have exactly one sloop cutter and schooner. I've got to put two boats back before scoring. Because I only rented them. Just trying to think. I think the most I can really do is put two points. Or actually, the hotel's worth three points, but it's two points to build it, so it's not worth three points. I think maybe maybe the savings club. Can lose a sloop. If I lost a sloop and a schooner, I wouldn't have a sloop for the model harbour. I've only got one worker left. So. If I could do both, if I had one more action, I could get those seven points for sure. So if I could buy a sloop, I would just put a sloop and a schooner back and have that model harbour. Although that kind of... It doesn't cancel it out, but... Yeah, I think the, the most I can get from any action is two points. And it doesn't particularly matter. The hotel will give me three gold, but uh, the hotel only kicks off if you've got no forests and no empty building spaces, unfortunately. I've got them forests there. I think it doesn't particularly matter which boat I keep or what action I do for the end. I think it's just a two-point turn no matter what I have. It's like the savings club gives me three gold because I've got three elders, but it costs me a gold to build, so I think it's just... It's just two gold. I'm going to go for buy all the shares for one gold. They're worth a point each. I've got three of them. So, yeah, I think whatever way you slice it, I've left myself with just a two-point final turn. And I've got this negative point staring me in the face, unfortunately. But we'll see how that goes. End up with all of your shares. It's what we always used to do in Theme Park. When we, were little. we didn't exactly understand the shares system in Theme Park, but we wanted to make sure that nobody else owned shares of our park. That's how the stock market works, right? You want to own all of your own shares. So you will keep all of your money. Uh, right, so points. Make sure I don't forget anything, but it's basically, it's gold share. It's it's just points you can see, isn't it? Plus gold. Uh, Gainers after seven rounds, buildings and ships, and a point per share, a point per gold. So it's going to be Netweaver starting us off with minus one. Plus two, puts it to one, zero, 14, so 15, 16, five points if all the spaces in the bottom row contain a building, they do, so 21, 23, 27, 28, 
32, 34, 38. Ooh, actually, Brandon. I'm going to take your advice. That is a very good point. I wasn't factoring in the point that they would... So I can copy build a building. I wasn't factoring in the fact that you are covering up a minus one. So yes, you are right. That is three points. Because yeah, I would get a gold per elder in there. And although that's two points, it's, um, it's covering up a minus one. So it's three. Thank you. I've forgotten. What was I at? So 1, 15, 16, 21, 23, 27, 28, 32, 34, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Is that good? I can't remember. I haven't got, there's no pad or anything like that. Yes, the interaction with shares is... Uh, really interesting because yeah in, in a solo game you obviously there's there's no risk you can just sell these shares here knowing that no one's going to pick them up but in the higher player counts this action is buy all the shares here for one gold per share and there can be you know loads of different players things here and it's one of their you know after the elders it's the second priority you give fish to the shares in foreign possession so you other people oh yeah i need to lose two boats so what did i have 40 something minus three. Uh, one, 15, 16, 21, 23, 27, 31, 35, 38, 41, 44, I think. I can't remember any of the other things that I got. I haven't handily got. Steve, if you're still about, do you remember what I scored? Do you remember what I started with? Oh, thanks, Steve. You are still about. You said two votes as well. The two comments merged into one. I, sh I should keep a record of some of these things. I there's no context, I don't think, in uh, in Solo, what is... There's 35 in the example. I'm going to say that, that went pretty well, though. That, that does seem like a lot of buildings as well. But the, the campaign here... You see this, so... You just, you play all the cards of one deck. You'll have your A's and B's out and the C buildings. In the second game, you use the other A's and B's that you didn't put out and then some more C's. And then in the third game, you use all the cards you didn't build in the first two games. And over the course of three games, you need to get a combined score of more than a hundred. Do that at some point. 44 is good. I'm I'm pretty happy with how it went so well, especially since like I started the screen the stream in a panic of like I have had no uh, I've had no way to prepare this and uh, I haven't had a chance to look it up. But it is it's one of those games that's like as soon as you start playing like I remember this. It's Nusfjord. How could I think I forgot? Over 40. I've, I bet I beat myself on the same deck as well. But uh, yeah, I th I think it went a different way. I can't remember. It's only been just over a year, I think, since I did the last playthrough of Nuxfield. But already it feels like forever. And when I saw uh, Jose in the Discord finishing his campaign, it's like, I know what one of the games is going to be for next week's streams now. Uh, I don't know what these, uh, the, the games for next week are going to be, quite. I think it's going to be a little bit... It's going to have to be a karma. I think it's going to have to be like a, a two stream week. Because, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of playthrough filmage to do next week. So there's a couple of Kickstarters on the way. Arcosa and the expansion for Villagers. Exciting. Going to be playthroughs for those. And we'll presumably have to film another, you know, normal playthrough. To go up early and stuff. So I'll try and make sure there's two. Maybe we'll do pinball again. Did anyone see pinball? Well, James, you saw pinball. I had a blast playing pinball. It was fantastic. Really want to play more than that, more stuff of that. Mage Knight. Maybe, yeah, if I'm going to do, like... If I'm going to have to do fewer streams, just do a, a great big Mage Knight one. Because it has been a while, hasn't it? It's been, like, six weeks or something like that. And I have got now... Uh, my little... The, the, the only thing that I had that... I didn't have that was uh, in the ultimate box. Uh, it's like five new cards, dual-coloured cards and stuff. 
so yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure what's going to be in there. I think there's there's going to be some kind of uh, Imperium stream uh, the week after next. I think we haven't like finalised that yet, but um, designers David and Nigel are trying to <laughs> trying to work out a, a two player game that I would find acceptable because I don't like attacking or anything in games, and so I've just kind of been like, well, no, I'm not I'm not going to play it competitively then. But they're, they're convinced that they can convince me. So that'll be an interesting stream. You want to see more Hadrian's Wall? I'd be happy playing more Hadrian's Wall. I don't mind that. We shall see. So what would it be? I think it would be Hadrian's Wall and Mage Knights. I'd like to try and show something new off as well. Oh, I need to do um, Viscounts of the West Kingdom as well to complete the trilogy. Both solo and co-op maybe we'll wait a week for that though I, I, I was going to do it this week but i thought delay it a little bit to try and make it line up with the co-op ones that are going up oh thanks dustin last playthrough is what convinced you to buy the game i'm always glad when it comes up even though i it didn't get voted for this time i i didn't even put it on a vote i just saw it and thought i need to play all of that i haven't got marvel champions anymore i think yeah, it's probably going to be one of those. There's been stuff arriving. Oh, I've got um, bought from Oliver of Tabletop Games blog. We're selling his copy of Chai, which has always been one that, uh, well, I love a cup of tea. But I thought when it's come up on social media, it looks absolutely beautiful. But I didn't back the Kickstarter and I've never seen it available. So I've got that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Share. Play Hadrian's Wall with uh, with me and Paul. Has Paul got it? That would be a good stream. Especially because, yeah, we could just do our own things, couldn't we? You traded away Mage Knight. I'll have to keep it secret. Because, yeah, eventually... I need to keep up with the Mage Knight streams because eventually we will move on to Paul's expansions at some point. I haven't even done uh, the first expansion for it yet. Vlada's expansion. Uh, before moving on to Paul's. I could just play with uh, Paul's character. Krang. Paul's character. Paul and uh, Phil Pettifer designed the last two expansions, didn't they? And yeah, I do mean to keep uh, keep keeping up with it. And um, Cloudspire as well. I don't want to fall behind on Cloudspire. So while it's, while it's in my head. Yeah, it's got all like... Chai's got all like these special cups for things. And like resin... I know it is like... It's a special edition of it. But... I was uh, blown away by how cool it looked inside. And he's, I need to play some kind of dice game as well because uh, he sent me a, a dice tray. And I need to get that shown off. But yeah, maybe there'll be more pinball. If, if they're shorter streams like pinball, maybe there will be three streams next week. But probably a couple. Uh, nice to see there's demand for um, Mage Knight and some more Hadrian's Wall though. I'll have a think and I'll see what uh, there's going to be time for next week. But yeah, that'll get announced on Monday. There is... Architects of the West Kingdom is going to be live tomorrow on you know pre-recorded playthrough. Um, that is with the Tome Saga expansion, the co-op version. I already did a solo uh, live stream for it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the co-op for Viscounts will be with the Tome Saga expansion, yeah. The, so like Tome Saga added the co-op for all three West Kingdom games. So Architects is ready and will be going up this saturday although patrons can see it already um i filmed paladins today it's why i was almost late for this stream because uh, it took longer than expected and i was still scrabbling it away i've still got bits of it out uh but yeah paladins will be edited and will be up on patreon patreon soon as i can and uh, yeah viscounts will be the next one to to film i haven't got bonfire anymore i really didn't enjoy bonfire i I know that I am kind of alone in that opinion, but and it's not as fresh why anymore, but I, I really didn't enjoy my time with it, unfortunately. There's a bit of an island in my uh, first impressions video of that. I've got so many games that need to get their due at some point, but um, hey, there's, there's no... Oh, oh, and what's coming up is Sleeping Gods is the latest video for Patreon. So that is going to go up on the normal channel on... So it's in early access on Patreon. It's going to go up on the channel on Tuesday, I think. 
So I don't think it's going to be next week. It's probably going to be the net the week after. So Sleeping Gods is a massive, you know, exploration game, twenty hour campaign, that kind of thing. Uh, so I have. I filmed about, edited down, it's about an hour of Sleeping Gods, of some uh, roaming around, questing, adventuring. I am going to put the, so the playthrough will go live on Tuesday. I think the week after, there is going to be a Sleeping Gods stream where I will just carry on. So uh, rather than doing it all in, waiting to film it and edit it and stuff, uh, if you if you watch the Sleeping Gods playthrough and you enjoy it and you would like to see more stuff come along, yeah, I do as well because I I loved Sleeping Gods. I loved that first campaign and uh, playing it. It was it was last Friday actually. I filmed the playthrough of it. Uh, yeah, I was I was mad on it and didn't want to stop. But yeah, time, time uh, is that quote. Yes, always expensive to see new games. Luckily, I do get sent a fair few games. But uh, yeah, Circadian First Lights did that did well in the in the vote, didn't it? For uh, was it this month's uh, playthrough vote? We haven't played it yet. Maybe we should try and get it played this weekend, and uh, see if I can get it on. That's another one where maybe it would be the week after. But then I'm saying that for everything. So the week after is just filling up with uh, every game, isn't it? Am I doing an entire run of of Sleeping Gods? I th I hope so. I don't know how long it'll take me. But if I'm doing like a couple of hours at a time in a stream then um yeah i hope to go through there and i have like in the playthrough that i filmed so i've finished a run of it and not to spoil anything but there are things you can unlock by doing stuff and so we did a campaign i have unlocked things i have not they're not in that playthrough but i wonder if uh put them in the live one at some point it's spoilers isn't it like if someone just clicks on it any of the story and stuff is spoiled and stuff. And I, and I don't feel like... Like, I'm very, like, try and be very careful about spoilers. But I don't think spoilers will matter at all in Sleeping Gods. Like, I absolutely loved um, Sleeping Gods. But the going back to the starting area again for the playthrough that I filmed, I didn't remember anything. And it, it was only a couple of weeks ago that um, we finished it. I suppose it's, it's probably been, like, six weeks maybe since we started that campaign. But it was, it was like, I kind of remember this quest, but I don't remember where I need to go. Mystic Vale Nemesis. Oh, is that the solo one? I have, I think I've got all of Mystic Vale. I don't think I've played the, I don't think I've played any solo mode. Is there a solo mode in it? Yeah, I went on a real Mystic Vale kick last year when I, I think it was when I hurt my shoulder and I, um, I was playing loads of the digital version and then got back all the original stuff and the big box and stuff. Yeah, that would be good. I need to get all these things relearned. There's no time to do all of this. I need to practice Imperium as well, because one of the things that uh, maybe just to torture me that David and Nigel, the designers, want me to do is play this crazy difficult um, faction, the Utopians, that apparently play very differently to all of the others and are like a five-star difficulty would be six stars if the scale had gone up to that, which is terrifying. But maybe that's just going to be fantastic. Yeah, I, I seem to remember, like, has Mystic Vale Nemesis got some kind of solo mode in it? I can't remember. James, what's it got in it? Why Nemesis specifically? Yes, Nemesis is the solo expansion. Have I got that? Hang on. So heavy. Oof, I think I bought everything. Yeah, this is Nemesis, right? This is another one. AEG, be my friend. I make great stuff. And I really like games of yours that you put loads of... Uh, I'm grateful of the expansions, but they, they break my wallet. Yeah, I need to learn how to play this then, don't I? Because for, for all of the expansions that are in here, there's loads that I haven't played with. Yeah, you can you can play just with Nemesis if you want like a complete base game replacement. But where is the Nemesis Solitaire variant? I need to get on this. Maybe like maybe be more maybe I should be more open to doing streams where I'm just like, this is me trying the game out. Always try and like have played it a couple of times 
first. Um, but yeah, it would it would be easier to do more games if some of the streams were just, hey, this is this is me learning this thing. But it's probably better if it's a little bit more polished. Uh, yeah, Garfield is. Um, I need more space on that shelf, actually, because I don't know if you can see they're on they're on this side. The 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 chairs right in the way of them. The West Kingdom games, and then I've got Hadrian's Wall needs a space on that shelf, and I haven't played Circadian's First Light yet, but I'm hoping that that gets a place. And then I'm told that I should um, investigate the North Sea games because we played we played Raiders of the North Sea when it was very new out, and we remember it being mean, but apparently it's not. There are hardly any cards that that are mean in it, so maybe it was just we got unlucky with the ones that we saw. Um, yeah, AG make a lot of great games. I have got some kind of solo, uh, some kind of big, um, what is it? Thunderstone Quest. I'd love to do Thunderstone Quest as well, if only to justify how much I have spent on, um, Thunderstone Quests. Um, have played any Garfield yet? I, I hadn't really. I, I only got Paladins last year and then kind of left it until fairly recently to grab any of the others. I'm really glad I went for Hadrian's Wall, though. Uh, you can't really solo with Tome Saga. You can just two-hand it, which is what I'm doing, but it's kind of difficult to keep track of all of the stuff that's um, going on in there. Yeah, we need to get Circadians played. I need to watch a video about it and stuff, see what... Because we, we're playing games on uh, Saturdays now. Now that we can uh, see people again for the time being. And uh, yeah, if it isn't... If it isn't a game that would be a disaster. And have too many mean bits in it. Which I assume it wouldn't. Uh, then yeah, we could take it and have a go on Saturday. But I'd like to take Paladins and just play some more Paladins. He's, uh, he's again, strategically placing himself... Anywhere off camera. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he's he's not willing to make an appearance. There you go. You can see his tail swishing into the camera and knocking it off. There we go. Bye, Marty. You can't make him. You can't make him do anything. Yeah, Paul did those learning streams, and that's what that's what made me think. Oh, like that's okay. Then people watch them, but now he's. Um, I think they're only for patrons now, which I could do still. Shiprites and explorers are quite different from the others as well. Maybe I need to go for that. Talent into you solo. That's what the, there's been new rules come out for that, haven't they? That um, simplify. Maybe I need to try that out again because it, uh, especially the solo mode for it, baffled me learning it all. But now it's got. Um, it's got some rewritten rules for it, I think. The whole game, as well as the solo mode. Uh, which would be the best Western Kingdom trilogy to start? Architects is the easiest, I think, but my least favourite of the three. It's great, but I think I think Paladins is the best at the moment. Maybe it's going to switch back to Viscounts again when I've played that. But I think... I don't think any of them are too tricky. Maybe Paladins was probably smoother to get into than I found Viscounts. But I think we we had a especially kind of weird game, I think, of Viscounts at the beginning. I remember a load of questions that I had about interactions between things that weren't quite answered in the rule books. Some some of the rule like the rule books for Garfield games are they're good and they do teach you the game, but sometimes they're very text heavy and sometimes they hide rules in like examples and stuff. Well they're not hidden. But I think you should explicitly lay out a rule or a way something scores and then have an example for it. There is like, I think something for Viscounts that's only like the way it scores is laid out in an example in one of the pages rather than here's a page for all of this stuff. I think sometimes it's crammed into how big the rule books can be. Um, Carnegie. Yeah, Marty. He's not bothered about the fish straight off the table. Uh, yeah, it came up on Board Game Geek uh, the other day, I think. The Toe and you rules, but I haven't looked at them yet. Architects definitely most straightforward, but uh, yeah, I, th I think Architects as well, 
is one that would be much better if you think in multiplayer. That is probably got the best stuff for multiplayer, even though there's plenty of uh, interaction stuff going on with the other things and not negative interaction. There, there is probably a lot more player interaction going on in architects than any of them. Borrow hit. Thanks for being here. This is just like a little chat after the stream now, isn't it? Um, Carnegie. I haven't seen. Is that new? Let me go to my browser. Oh, is that that Quinid Games one? Oh, that was was that one Kickstarter or something? Oh, it's heavy. Three point eight. Yeah, I remember John Gets Games video. I haven't played on there. But maybe I'll get um, one of them going. <laughs> yeah, the, there are videos only only for solo, but I've done live videos for architects. I've done all three, actually. Viscount, when that comes back, is going to be like a, a return to solo, and hopefully I'll do better than I did last time. Oh, it's Soul of the Longboard Game Arena. Cool. Oh, maybe I'll give that a go. I say that. I will uh, I will be staring at um, one of these games, trying to learn it over the weekend. We didn't get a chance to play anything last week, because that's the main time that we play stuff. Like, I try and play in the days and stuff, but if I try and learn a new game, I'm not filming one of the games that I need to film. It's all just time, isn't it? So the main, the main time we play is at the weekends, but we needed to do something uh, last Sunday, so we didn't get to play. Uh, any new things but yeah Just so little time so many games coming all of the time me buying things like chai when there's already plenty to play but it's it's all shiny right we'll get around uh we'll get around to it eventually it's it's sometimes kind of stressful like i, I think yeah it, it gets frustrating when there's something that's got like a particularly bad rule book or something or something just isn't clicking for some reason but um yeah it's i think it's a lot as well and paul paul was saying something about this uh yesterday that if if you've got like a run of really complicated games as well in in like one go it's hard to like it's hard to pick up a new game because you've got all of these crazy things swimming around your head but it's like it's the job in it kind of it's nearly well, it's a, it's a part-time job. It's been a part-time job for a long time. But, yeah, if um, if Patreon continues to go well, continues on its uh, upward trend, thank you, by the way, everyone that's on uh, Patreon, then I don't think we are a million miles away from this being like a full-time thing. And hopefully more videos will come from that. But the main thing is, being able to produce the videos under like having time to learn all of the stuff and play more games of it before it gets filmed and that is a cool part as well <laughs> I, mean, I used to just watch videos for the rules until i used to until i ended up being like the the person that is making like early videos for a game and you'd look on bgg and there's not even any uh answers on there yet Chai is quick. Oh, good. But the the solo rules are a mess. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, <laughs> you never read any real books, just rule books. Well, that's something that's like... I started like... Um, I think it was before the lockdown. I don't think it was anything to do with the lockdown. But I started... Like, I used to read a lot and probably haven't in like recent years. But last year I started reading and I kept up like reading a lot of books. And that has been... Uh, that has been taken up for some time as well. It's kind of, it's still board games is the vast majority of time is spent on. But yeah, loving some books. I'm reading the Mistborn trilogy right now. I'm near the end of number two. It's amazing. But yeah, Steve reads, well, well Steve reads all the rule books of these, uh, these games. Steve is the Klingon subtitle master. I think like I I can see totally why it's not there anymore. Like I I really love the the handheld filming and stuff, but as the person that is 
filming the handheld things, I totally see why, like, it's so nice having two hands and just zooming in on things. It is, it, it's beautiful having the, the closeness and stuff of the handheld camera. But after doing, like, like four hours of Paladins early on and getting, like, the welts and stuff on my hand, it's just like, yeah, oh, it's, it's so much easier doing it like this. Yeah, well, well, Rodney is like Rodney's channel is. It's, it's 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 tutorials like this. This is how it's played for for Rodney's videos anyway. Games in a nutshell is doing great real shows too. I haven't seen them yet. I will say that that is something that's changed. I'm not. I I don't think the board game played time has ever like really dip down but i think like time time of me watching and having board game podcasts and stuff on has uh definitely decreased a lot and i feel bad about that because there's people that i want to go on and i try and like pop into pool streams and stuff and like i'll be on people's things if they ever ask me to but uh yeah i feel bad that i haven't kept up on like things like uh, Tabletop Inquisition and Five Games for Doomsday that are fantastic podcasts. But it's just kind of like when I go to listen to a podcast, uh, more recently it's kind of turned into, well, I'll do something that isn't board games. But it's kind of, I think it's, it all goes in cycles and it'll swing back around. Yeah, Paul does fantastic tutorials. Right. I think I should go. And start thinking about oh where where Rach is and uh, what's going on with uh, tea and stuff and if we are watching a film and what it's going to be, Bo Burnham thing though hopefully, I don't know if Rach isn't into it I'll just watch it on my own later. Right, thank you very much for being here everyone for this uh, Nusfjord extravaganza. There will be a post on Monday of what I am doing next week. Uh, there will be exciting things the week after that, but I will come up for, with some uh, cool things for next week as well. Thank you very much for being here for this week. Architect's going up tomorrow if you want to see another playthrough. Not done for the week with that, but that's it for the live things. Thank you very much for being here, everyone. Thanks for sticking around for a chat afterwards as well. I will see you next week or tomorrow if you want to see past me, but uh, present me will see you next week for some posts and streams and stuff. Thank you very, very much. Is Marty down there for a last... I don't know if you'll see him. There he is. Marty's down there for a last little fuzzy look. Thank you very, very much for being here. And we will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>